Hey guys, Johnny5 here. I'm in my boat. Just had a quick question about um, Vessel View Mobile. That's that little, if you look at the comments, you'll see the picture of that little module plugs into your um, SmartCraft junction box. See this thing here? This is a mount for a very large iPad that I use. That's an iPad Pro 12.9. That mount is made by slipgripmounts.com. They make mounts like this for any device, phone, iPad, any brand really of phone or or um, or um, GPS, uh, any of these um, iPad screens, whatever. But more importantly, you can get it so it holds your your iPad in its current case. So I have an OtterBox Defender on my iPad, and it clips right in. Okay. Now I'll turn my iPad on. Turn my screen up. Turn my key on. Okay. So now I've accessed my. I've set power to my mobile unit. Okay, you'll see right there is the Vessel View app, okay, on this great big screen. And then, so I, once I connect that, put that on, the power's to it. You should see, it's come to life, there you go. So let's see, it's connecting. Right there, connecting the module. Do, do, do. Not real speedy, is it? It comes around. Okay, so now you'll see the top one is RPM, fuel, speed, miles per hour. Okay, if you go into RPM, this will pull up a bunch of different stuff. So that happens to be my um, water temperature uh, inside the motor. Um, this is water pressure inside the motor, but I don't have the module there, so it's not going to show me anything, even if it was running. RPM and speed. You can pick, you know, <laughs> just RPM and speed if, you, if that's all you want to see. You can put a whole bunch of screen. You can have a bunch of different my data screens. You can add stuff to each of these screens. Okay. You can have as much or as little information. If you're going to speed, then you get into your peak speed, and then you'd re there's resets on here. Okay, there's a reset button. So it'll show your average speed, your um, current speed if you're driving, and your peak speed. Okay, uh, which I'm not moving. And then your fuel. Going to fuel. You can tell it how much fuel. This is the cool. This is a cool feature for these motors. You tell it how much fuel is in your tank. So if you you know, once you tell it that your tank holds uh, so many gallons, you tell it either to fill it, fill your tank once you filled it up, or if you just add ten liters or twenty liters or how many gallons, you can tell it. I just want to add so many. See, so watch. You can go like this. How many did you add? You punch in the numbers, save it, and you're done. Okay. So then when you do that, whatever speed you're driving, it'll tell you how many miles left you could drive on the amount of fuel. And this thing is accurate, like really accurate because it's reading the data right from the motor. Okay. How long until you're empty? So I know it's hard to see on the screen there, but how long till you're empty? And more importantly, how much fuel is still in your tank? Okay. How many gallons of fuel are still in your tank? Sorry about the glare, but that's life out here in the sun. So, I mean, there's a million things that this thing does. Man, I really wish I had better... You know what I'll do? I'll put it on the floor just so you can see it better. There you go. So a little bit better. Okay. You know, save profiles. Oh. I get people asking about this all the time, so I thought I'd take a second, you know. Um, maintenance, you know. So for me, <laughs> my my engine maintenance due in 99 hours. So that'll be the end of the year for me. Love that. Okay. Um, you want to do uh, some performance stuff? There you go. Performance, you want to do a hole shot? There you go. Set up your hole shot. You ready? I'm gonna do a zero to okay. This all comes with it. You go, brrr, hit the gas. Uh, you have 20 seconds or 30 seconds, your choice. Uh, this or sorry, zero to 20 miles an hour, and it times you. Okay, kind of cool feature. Stop. Um, and it's automatic. So once you hit the, the go button, it counts you down. You hit the gas pedal. It's like its own tree. When you hit 20 miles an hour, it tells you how long it took. You know, uh, I don't know. It's got a whole bunch of stuff in there. Really cool. Um, Performance reports, uh, blink, get on there. Performance reports, okay, look at this. There's what, uh, there's the fuel, this is for me. Okay, this is my motor, so this is how much fuel I use at our gallons per hour at, at certain RPMs. I reset all this for this year, so it's gonna be different, but there's page after page of this stuff, you know. There's gallons per hour. There is miles per hour chart, you know. This would be, you know, Obviously sitting at 100 miles an hour all the time, way up here. No, wouldn't be, but you know what I mean. It, it, there's all kinds of stuff on this thing. Really cool, really cool um, little device to have. Um, 
there's you know calendars and stuff for for events that have happened there's checklists for all kinds of you know for uh, pre-departure checklist check your fuel level you can check it all off check my fuel level yes check my oil level yes <laughs> i don't have wastewater or for the battery, battery voltage is good i've got the right amount of pfds on board you know you can do all that stuff it has a lot of neat features anyways i love it but most important feature is you know to mount that son of a gun up there on my up there on my um here's my cougar room tier up there on my dash and i keep a power cord here for it too so that i can keep it powered up all the time and then it's my vessel view is right there so my idea is I'll be running my Navionics uh, on this screen, and then all my data, all my data for my vessel view will be on this side. Okay, there's that, there's that communication error back again. But I know how to fix it now, so not a big deal. I might have to do that every damn time I'm on here. I'm not sure. Okay, that's what I've got for my setup.